InShot was updated last week. Now you can use Chroma Key with InShot. The first thing you'll want to do is tap the video icon to open a new video project and select your main video clip. Say for example this one right here. Tap the check mark and add it to the project. It will be loaded into a project. This one came in at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. If you want you can tap on canvas, tap on zoom, and then adjust the clip so that it takes up the whole space and removes the black bars. But for this tutorial I'm going to leave it as is. I'll play the clip to the point where I want to add my green screen animation which I got for free off of pixabay.com. Then I'll tap on picture in picture, select it, and it will come in on top of my main video clip. The first thing I'm going to do is tap on cropping and then I'll move the handles so that the black bars are removed and only the green screen is visible. Then I'll tap on the check mark once I'm done. Now I can move the green screen clip anywhere I want to. Put the clip into position before you remove the green screen. Just long press on it and drag it into position wherever you want it. I'm going to place mine in the middle of the screen, right here. Now, inside picture in picture you'll see a couple of new options, chroma and mask. Tap on chroma, move the ring to cover the green color and it will disappear. Notice that you've got sliders down below to adjust the intensity of your green screen effect. Don't Put these too high because your image may be affected. Both the green screen clip and the main video clip. The shadow slider is useful when you're filming something in front of a green screen rather than making a green screen graphic like I am here. Now I'll play the clip to see what it looks like. next videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. The final step is to export your completed project. To do that, tap on the export icon in the upper right hand corner. Tap on save to begin the export. You can also set the FPS and resolution settings here, but those are fine as they are. Don't interrupt the export at any point while it's happening. Keep the app open and don't lock your screen. If you do, the video won't export properly and you'll have to repeat the process. You should find the completed clip inside your camera roll. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials.